let us clear some myths and misconceptions about Android routing. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And every year this random YouTuber will come out, create a video, should you root your phone in this year or not? And that gets me ticking. Why? Because most of their video is filled with misinformation and then eventually I do have to roast them. But the purpose of this video is to help you out, clear some myths, some misconceptions about routing so without further delay let us get down to business what is routing so in terms of android routing is getting access to your system files now if i were to give you a very simple example it would be say you are running a windows machine and you are not the administrator with root you become the administrator now windows and android are a bit different in windows you know if you're not an admin sometimes you cannot install applications that is not the case with android you can sideload apks you can install whatever application you want to but in android if you want to mess with the system files just like windows you need administrator access which is super user which is root so basically root is you are the boss of android now super important thing to note over here as with anything powerful comes great responsibility because maybe you become the spider-man of android with great power comes great responsibility so again root is getting the maximum out of your device by having access to system files and you have to do that super carefully another super important thing root is not a necessity it is a choice first up rooting your android device is time consuming now this is something which a lot of youtubers out there say that rooting is time consuming so you should not do it now why is this a misconception this is a misconception because remember when you were a kid the first time you learned how to ride a bicycle was that time consuming it was right so similarly when you're rooting your device for the first time you have to read you have to learn new things so yes it is time consuming but it does not make it a disadvantage of routing once you know your process once you do your due diligence once you do your reading once you watch the videos whatever you want to do you do your research you will be absolutely fine the first time as with everything takes a bit longer and then once you keep on doing it again and again the time you take to do the same thing should keep on going down till it reaches a point wherein that is the minimum time you can do it in so yes routing is time consuming but only when you're doing it for the first time after that you get to know the steps and you might become a pro at routing and should be able to root your device in less than five minutes next up routing voids warranty now technically that depends on the oem or the manufacturer so say for example we have samsung now on samsung devices as soon as you unlock the bootloader the nox is stripped and the nox stripping on samsung devices is a one-way switch that is once it is stripped you cannot untrip it and that is what voids the warranty on a samsung device so technically you do not even have to root your device you just have to unlock the bootloader to void the warranty on your samsung device similarly on motorola if you have to get the code from them then again as soon as you unlock the bootloader the warranty is void now exceptions will always be there and in our case we have xiaomi redmi poco they do not void your warranty when you unlock the bootloader however if and when you root your device or install a custom rom then your warranty is void but the super important thing to note over here is that you can always unroot your device always install stock rom on your miui device and then go ahead and claim warranty so that is another thing which a lot of youtubers say about routing that it voids your warranty but again depends on the manufacturer and how you bypass it or how you go back to stock and unroot your device 
maybe lock the bootloader on your Xiaomi device to claim warranty in case you have to claim it. Another important thing over here, if you have heartbreak your device, then they do not have a way to check whether your device was rooted or not, whether you had stock ROM or custom ROM, or whether your bootloader was unlocked or not. Now this is only for Xiaomi, Redmi and Poco devices. Next up we have routing erases your data. So that is also wrong. Why? Because what erases your data is when you unlock your bootloader. As soon as you unlock the bootloader, every OEM out there is going to perform a factory reset on your device. Now generally, generally the first step after unlocking your bootloader is to root your device which is why youtubers who do not know anything about how it works say that rooting erases your data that is not the case rooting does not erase your data it is the step prior to rooting which is unlocking your bootloader which erases your data you can root your device on a phone which has an unlocked bootloader with some data on it without erasing your data Next up we have rooting is dangerous. Now at the beginning of the video I told you what is rooting. You are basically getting unlimited or say super high elevated access to your Android device. You can mess with the system files, you can delete system files, you can modify them, all those things. The other example was correlating rooting to admin access on Windows. Now think of it from this point of view that why do companies or why do colleges or why do universities, schools do not give administrator access to say the students or the employees? Why? Because some people have the habit of messing around with stuff. They might delete something which is not needed or they might delete something from the system files, might remove something which might cause the system to go unstable and they do not need admin access. They need the computer for their education, for their work, whatever they need is already installed. Why on earth do you need to mess with the system files? So coming back to Android, routing is dangerous if and only if you do what you are not supposed to do without knowing what you're doing. So if you just for the heck of it are going into the system partition, the product partition, the vendor partition, deleting files just to experiment, yes, your phone will not boot. You will have to flash your stock ROM. That does not make routing dangerous. What makes it dangerous is the fact that the person who has the administrator power or the super user or who is using root access on the phone does not know what it is doing or what the person is doing so rooting in itself is not dangerous the person handling the machine doing things he's not supposed to do is the dangerous thing so before you mess with any of the system files make sure to read about it make sure to know what you're doing and if you are somebody who likes to experiment then be ready to flash the stock rom in case things go south next up is that custom roms need root this again is a misconception why because it depends on the manufacturer and i know the root cause of this misconception which is the fact that most custom rom creators out there most people who create videos on custom roms use xiaomi redmi and poco devices now on those devices if you are on stock me ui and say you flash a custom recovery as soon as you flash the custom recovery if you boot into MIUI, your recovery will be replaced with stock MIUI recovery. Now, how do you avoid your custom recovery being replaced with stock MIUI recovery? Well, for that, as soon as you flash your custom recovery, they recommend that you flash Magisk. Why? Because Magisk removes the files which check for a custom recovery and then replace it with stock MIUI recovery and this is only on stock MIUI and only on specific devices. Devices with dynamic AB partitions like the POCO F3, the Mi 11X. In these devices you do not have to flash Magisk right after flashing your recovery for TWRP or your custom recovery to not be replaced with stock Mi recovery. So again custom ROMs do not need root you need root so that your recovery is not replaced and let us say that is the situation right you have stock miui 
running a custom recovery, it is rooted. When you install a custom ROM, most custom ROMs out there are not rooted out of the box and you do not have to root them. Rooting is a choice, not a necessity. So again, custom ROMs do not require root. Next up is that rooting can break your device or damage your device. Now, coming back to a point which we made earlier. Whenever, whenever you do something for the first time, so you're learning to ride a bicycle, right? There is 99.99% .99 chance that you will fall at least once. Similarly, when you're rooting your Android device for the first time, you are a newbie, you are a noob. There are chances that if you do not do your due diligence, if you do not read properly, you can break your device wherein it is a soft brick. 99% of the times it is a soft brick. A soft brick is a brick wherein your phone does not boot after you have rooted it. So that soft brick can happen. You can fix it if you flash your stock ROM, but the chances of you having a hard brick, if you have done your due diligence, if you have done your reading, if you have done all the research to know what you are doing are very very rare i have been rooting for a long time i have rooted a bunch of devices and have i bricked my devices yes i have soft bricked my devices there was this time when i soft bricked my device while i was in the middle of flashing a rom and it took me all night to figure it out why? Because I had not done my due diligence, my research. Android is like super crazy. You have thousands of devices. Every manufacturer has their own factory software flashing tool. Some have their KDZs, some have their Mi Flash tools, whatever there is. So there is a lot of stuff out there and you do not have any proper documentation because it is a hobby. So rooting can soft break your device, but if you've done your reading, if you've done your due diligence, you will be back and running in no time. Me personally, I have never ever hard break a device because of rooting. Next up is after rooting, you will not get OTA updates. Now, this is semi true you do get ota updates the phone will let you know that you have an ota update available if you're running your stock rom and it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer whether you can apply that ota update or not why because let us say on xiaomi redmi poco devices if you are on stock miui rooted you most probably will be running a custom rom in which case the update which you are getting is actually an incremental update generally so that is something which your custom recoveries cannot handle so you will get the ota update but to update your device you have to follow the manual process and yes again the manual process is there it exists does it take more time as compared to your normal apply update you select on the phone yes it does but then again routing is a choice it is not a necessity it does come with its side effects so as i mentioned earlier you have to do your due diligence you have to do your reading you should know what you are getting into instead of believing youtubers who are spreading false information watch the right content next up is routing is going to bring viruses to your phone and this is something which i heard from someone who had like five or six million subscribers on youtube and trust me even today even today when i think of it i laugh and here is why i laugh at such fools yes i just called him a fool because these are the people with nine million subscribers who spread misinformation anyways let us say i am a developer who creates virus what is the target of my virus am i going to target a minority population or am i going to target a majority population if i want my virus to wreak havoc or say if i want my virus to do whatever i want it to do i will target the majority population root users are a minority population so why on earth will i spend my hours coding a virus just to target 
root users and not target the normal Android population whether they are rooted or not. So rooting does not bring viruses. What brings viruses is you going to shady websites, you using your patching apps which gives you paid apps for free, you going to websites which are going to get you paid apps for free. Basically when you go to shady websites, do shady stuff, that is how you get majority of viruses whether it be on Windows or whether it be on Android. So rooting has nothing to do with your viruses. It is these awesome tech YouTubers who just for the heck of it are saying it because when they were kids, when they used to root their phones, they also used to go ahead and use applications without purchasing them, go to shady websites, got a virus, hey, how do I tell my mother and father that my device is rebooting randomly? Oh, I rooted my device, hence I got a virus. No, 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 no. You got a virus because you were doing shady things, things you're not supposed to do. Routing causes banking apps and games to not work. Now, why is this mentioned as a misconception? It is mentioned as a misconception to spread some knowledge. So yes, once you root your device, certain banking apps, certain games won't work. Now, these certain banking apps, these certain games might not work even if you're not rooted, but if you have an unlocked bootloader. So as soon as you unlock the bootloader on your device, the banking apps, the games, they tend to assume that your device is now not secure because you do have a warning when you unlock the bootloader that your device will no longer be secure. So rooting is just, you know, most people unlock the bootloader to root their device, which is why rooting gets a bad name. Now the advantage of rooting over here is that you can actually bypass safety net by using magisk modules and then get those very same apps which might not be working on a device with an unlocked bootloader but after you root install those modules those very same banking apps and games might work absolutely fine on your device so again it is the first step prior to rooting which is unlocking your bootloader which is causing these side effects it is not the specific process of Routing now a lot of you will come to me and say that hey manji, you know I am running a custom ROM bootloader unlocked not rooted all the apps are working fine again Those custom ROMs are actually spoofing your device hiding all these things in the ROM code itself if you have a look at say Lineage OS they do not mess with safety net if you're using lineage OS out of the box your banking apps might not work your bootloader unlock status will not be hidden so again the rom is hiding these things to make your life easier which brings us to our next misconception that routing will make your phone insecure again the prerequisite to routing generally is to unlock your bootloader that is wherein the insecure part kicks in you can have an android device with an unlocked bootloader not rooted it is considered insecure by your banking app or your gaming app. Why? Because you have unlocked the bootloader. So yes, you have rooted your device and with great power comes great responsibility. So stop visiting shady websites. Stop doing things which you're not supposed to do, which you do not know how to do because all these misconceptions about routing are spread by people who do not know the technicalities. They are just talking out of their behinds, making videos for the clicks, the views, the likes, and the revenue which comes out of that. As a user who is intelligent enough, smart enough, you should follow the right people and call out the people who are just doing it for the heck of it.